Why do I point out Simpson, the unmarried judge, right, right, who went to the prostitute's house from evening to midnight, <laughs> left at midnight, <laughs> why do we, between evening and midnight, probably, <laughs> and, and bust forth in Fall off his adversaries, right? They thought he would wait till morning. They were wrong. <laughs> um, here, here's the point, though. He was unmarried judge. He was an unmarried judge. His marriage had failed through, right, with a Philistine woman, right? Mm, right. The next woman he's with after that is who? Delilah. Delilah. I know. Now he's still an unmarried judge, <laughs> right? Do you see what I mean? I'm an unmarried person myself, right? I'm trying to find a girlfriend, right? If I go to the club, it's not illegal for me. <laughs> I'm, not married. I'm not married, right? See, that's married men who aren't supposed to do that. It's married men who he's referring to when he says, let's not at least he be judged, right? right? <sighs> he's not talking that single men can't look at a woman to find their wife, idiot. We can't. <laughs> How are we supposed to find one? <laughs> right, right. You gotta look. <laughs> you gotta look at one. Now you ask her what vital question. Are you single or married? <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly. If they're in the club, they're probably having husband problems, right? <laughs> anyway, anyway. And you're not supposed to judge each other under condemnation, right? You're doing that, Christians. You're worse than the scribes of Pharisees. Jesus day, right? Judging every little thing, tithing every little thing but the truth, right? right. And that's part of Kurt Cameron. That's part of any self righteous leader, even, you know, that's a Jim Jones or Jim Baker, right? I mean, ain't they giving Jim a bad name? <laughs> ain't they giving Jim a bad name? <laughs> but Jim Baker's almost Jim Jones, except he didn't lead a cult to <laughs> Ghana, <or> whatever. <laughs> so that's the difference between the two men, though. Barely, barely. <laughs> He did do something with a virgin secretary of his uh, that got scandalized, right? And you can't do that to a man of God, right? You <laughs> know, who's married, right, and supposed to be with his wife, right? You don't get to play Samson mm -hmm. or King Solomon if you're going to follow that idea from the New Testament about waiting for your wife, right? But see, a prophet is different than a reverend or a mm -hmm, pastor, right? See, if I'm a prophet, so to speak, right, I'm outside the rules of a pastor, a bishop, or a deacon, right? I'm under different rules, right, if I could be one, right? Now, prophets have a face-to-face -face relationship with God, though, like Elijah or Moses or Enoch, <laughs> you know, right? And Enoch was married, so was Moses. We don't know about Elijah, but he's dealing with a widow woman for some reason. Was he a widower too? <laughs> right, right. You don't know what's going on with him, but he's dealing with a widow woman. <laughs> right, right. Hmm. Let your head spin. <laughs> right. Now, the problem is, it's not what's written down all the time. Right. It's the details. <laughs> you don't know, Right. And the problem with details right, is you don't know. You don't know. Right. All the details. All the details. If I'm writing a short story version of someone's life, right, and I don't tell you, how old is Elijah? Do you know? <laughs> no. <laughs> how old is Elisha? <laughs> how old is David even, right? How old is Samson? How old is... Delilah. How old is Moses? All we know is he died at 120. Right? But we don't know when he's born, though. Ramses is mentioned. Is that Ramses the first, though, or Ramses the second? Right. One of the Ramses is building the city around the time of the Jews' occupation of Egypt, right? Else, else. <laughs> right? The author of Exodus wouldn't have mentioned that particular ruler, right? Otherwise, he's tempting fate. Right, right. Mm -hmm. 
That should give you some kind of timeline, though, of when Moses and Israel were in Egypt, right? <laughs> Can you handle the truth of right? Isn't that around 3,500 years ago? Somewhere in that neighborhood, right? Yes. So what's the problem with it? <laughs> when was Santorini, if that's what you think has to do with the dead blades, which was 40 or 80 years later, idiot. <laughs> Listen to the story. It didn't happen during Ramsey's first reign, but that's when they built the city of Ramsey's. <laughs> it's during his first 40 years. <laughs> the other 40 years, he's in the wilderness, and then he goes out and get him out of Egypt, right? That happens 80 years later. Do some math. <laughs> or you're not doing good archaeology or bibliology. Right? There's math involved with all this. Stories, right? I know, I know, I know. You're not doing the math properly because you don't want to believe the story. Right. You're biased either way sometimes. Bias means the Gregorians are the ones reason we don't know the proper calendar now. Not the proper calendar, whichever one it was. They were going back. Right. When Luke is telling you about Herod and Jesus and all that, right? He's talking the very night he was born, right? Matthew takes up the story two years, perhaps, later, right? And they're living in the house, right? Not in the major anymore, right? For at least two years, right? Are you hearing the difference of the timing of the two stories? The star appeared, and Herod asked, inquired about when it appeared. <laughs> and... He killed all children under two. That means what? It appeared two years ago. <laughs> right, dummy. Right. Before he died. Before he died. Okay? <laughs> if you're biased, you're biased because of religion or non-religion, people, right? Bias means you're, you, every man is going his own way, right? That's what the Bible warns of, too. You're all going your own way, right? You're all doing whatever you want to do because there's no real rule that can really control you, right? That's the problem with mankind. We can all do whatever we want to do, right or wrong, right? I don't know. Even sleep with your sister, hypothetically, right? Which is why Moses kind of banned it, but at the same time, guess who were brother and sister? <laughs> right, right. And they were having problems conceiving until Hagar got involved with it, right, right? Though, again, it still took another 13 years almost, right, to finally get her pregnant. <laughs> and then there was a Theopoly, right? Three people visited them. <laughs> and three people, when Jesus was on Mount Tabor mm -hmm, and transfigured Christians, right, translated his body, right, <laughs> Or transgendered himself. <laughs> Will that blow your mind? Right. One became three. Mm -hmm. Not three males. <laughs> and drogonous male and female. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> How can the Lord of all flesh, honey, be all three? Right. And drogonous male and female. <laughs> Dummy. Right. The real trinity ain't thrice male. <laughs> or thrice female. Mm -hmm. It's all three of the forms, right? There's a hermaphroditic form in the gene pool, a male form, and a female form. Now, the hermaphroditic are about 8,000 in the population by now, right? The male and female are between four to three to four billion, right? And they say the female population is slowly outnumbering the male a little bit, but then you got China, right, and all that, right, and they prefer male children, right, which is crazy too, right, men trying to control other men, right, and men trying to control even women, right, right, that's what you got in China, that's what you got in India, that's what you got, right, when men are saying that boys be boys and they're raping women, they're not getting it, that's the crime, right. India, India. 
It's a crime to rape a woman. Yes, it is. It always was a crime. It always will be a crime. <laughs> And you you don't simply tell them not to rape the woman. They're supposed to be enforced if they do. Right, right. Even Moses said that could be a capital punishment if the girl is betrothed and she cries out, right? Now, if she don't, they're both stoned. You get it, right? <laughs> if she cries out, he's stoned. If she doesn't, they're both stoned. Right, right. <laughs> That's punishment for the crime, right? One way or the other, right? Up to capital punishment, which is death. <laughs> so if in the Old Testament, you punish up to death. What's the difference today? You're being lenient. <laughs> You're very, very lenient. <laughs> You're worse than King David with Tamar, his daughter, right? And Amnon, her brother. <laughs> And that's the sin. That's the sin. You're allowing rapes. You're allowing murders. You're allowing mm, these things without a reasonable punishment behind it either. Now, do you, again, kill every male who rapes a woman? No, but you do punish them somehow, right? With jail time or rehabilitation. Something has to happen. So for the male to realize he's not Captain Caveman and can beat a girl senseless and rape her. <laughs> you can't do that, man. <laughs> That's a crime. That's a crime. And the hardest crime to talk about today is rape. Right. I'm wondering, okay, why do five men stay 40 minutes in an apartment with Miss Kim Kardashian West? Right. And it only takes five, ten minutes to case a joint, right? With five men. <laughs> with five men. <laughs> but I heard Coward of the County, like I said, did they take turns with Kim, right? And Kim can't tell you why she's a public figure or they know where she is. That's right. <laughs> but I'm suggesting to you that's why she ain't saying nothing. It ain't a choice. <laughs> If you know these men can find you and kill your whole family, right? After they get out of jail, right? I'm not saying this for my sake, but Kim's, right? I seen a clockwork orange butt lights in prison in France. I know what you do to women, a holes. <laughs> and you have no respect for ladies. You're sick in the head. You're gonna burn in hell with Satan when you die, too. So have fun. <laughs> not. not. <laughs> it, it, that's what they're doing, right? They also know she's the last piece of... <laughs> she, they're going to see, right? <laughs> but I'm just a smart man, and I've seen a lot of SD. <laughs> I've seen a lot of SD. And, you know, when you're casing a joint, you don't hang out for 40 minutes, Kim. <laughs> you break and enter and you leave and you leave unless you're getting something else <laughs> you're ho <laughs> I know. you're not to me I know but you are to them you're you're a piece of meat right all over the internet right and they wanted to hit that I know I know <laughs> mm hmm I'm not dumb like other people are drink. I live in the real world where men can rape women at any time, and especially a celebrity threaten her with I don't know. And she never talked to me about it, idiots, right? Don't pretend she did. I don't know her personally, right? She wouldn't come to Georgia, right, right? And have sex with me, right, right. I don't think, right, though I'm a copy of her Playboy, right, right. Just her, so. Who would take it, though, right? <laughs> and why am I still telling to tell if someone took it, right? Mm -hmm. You might not can do it with me if you did it with that Miss Kardashian, though, right? You see what I mean, a-holes? Right. 
An a-hole was always an a-hole. A jackass. E-R, a donkey. A man of no taste or no valor or no honor is what I call these scums in prison in France. They're scumballs, right? They're assholes, right? <laughs> And they only after one thing, right? To demean all women, not just Miss Kardashian, right? She just happened to be the one they targeted that day, right? And like I said, five men can case a joint in less than 10 minutes, right? What's the other 30 minutes for? <laughs> Are you five minute men? <laughs> five times five is what? 25, 25, right? <laughs> Well, it's 25 minutes to five men <laughs> with a 40 minute window, <laughs> Kim. <laughs> but they can't do nothing if some stranger you don't know <laughs> from Georgia knows that's he. <laughs> I've seen a clockwork orange, Kim. <laughs> and I don't know you personally outside of my home, right? Hmm. But I wouldn't let anyone get away with raping my girlfriend, even if you weren't my girlfriend. Just my friend, right? If I thought they raped you, I would say something. <laughs> Why do you think I'm dealing with these idiots on YouTube saying I did something with my stepdaughter when her mom was there, right? What am I telling them? They're sick. They're sick. I know better, right? I knew better before I met Daphne, by the way. <laughs> Not just after that, just after. You don't have sex with children. You don't have sex where the girl's not consenting, right? Well, is the situation like this, right? If someone lies to you one lie, and you're telling them 100% the truth yourself, right? who lied and why did she lie? <laughs> because of you or someone else. Because of me or someone else. See, she can be raped by the same people trying to make me a statutory rapist to her, or a statutory rapist to her. Mm -hmm. The difference is I asked her age. <laughs> Not just her age, the age of other Asian women I was going out to and get my nails done with as well. See, that's your problem, idiot. <laughs> I ask every new girl I meet her age. <laughs> and if she lied, I didn't. <laughs> And that's conspiracy to commit rape. Right. On your end, too. <laughs> You're the rapist! Not me! Oh, no. See, the idea of statutory rape stems from the girl being too young or can't say nothing because you threatened her life. Right. I know that's still rape. That's still rape. Right? Bonjour! Uh, hello. Good day. <laughs> Good day. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I'm not a fool like they are. <laughs> they you shouldn't have took my kids Playboy. <laughs> Somebody take it. <laughs> and I know it wasn't Kim. I know it wasn't Kim. <laughs> she don't know me that way. I know she don't know you that way. <laughs> But I would suspect it. Um, I see the clockwork orange. And it didn't take him long, even when they were speeding up to do a twosome. <laughs> if you slowed it down. Right? <laughs> By the way, it's a normal speed. <laughs> Though it was a consensual twosome. Right? He did pick him up in the usual way. <laughs> The problem was the rape and then the murder of the older woman. Right, right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was already on his way down, right? But then he killed the woman. And he killed the woman with that <laughs> in her face, right? <laughs> her little art piece <laughs> of a male's genitalia, right?